In this video, we will look at how can we export Selenium ID test cases to Java and JUnit, and how can we create a Maven project and run them using IntelliJ IDEA. So let's get started. Here we have the test cases we recorded in the previous sessions. Please check my channel how to record test cases using Selenium IDE. Switching to test suites. Now let's open options and select and select export. This time let's select Java and JUnit. Click export button. Set the suite name and click on save. And that's it. We just exported our Selenium ID test cases to Java. Let's open now IntelliJ IDEA, click on create a new project. Here we set the project name. We want to create a Maven project, so on build system select Maven and click on create. So let's create under the test folder a Java class for our test suite. Our test suite is called suite1test. Let's copy the code from that class and put it in our Java class. As we can see, we have here some dependencies errors. Because we created a Maven project, here we have this palm XML file. Let's add first the dependencies section, which is missing. And now we have to add the dependency nodes for Java and JUnit. To do that, let's go to Maven repository. Let's go with the latest version and click on the Maven text area to copy this to clipboard. Now we can go back to our POM XML file and paste this dependency. We have to click on this small icon in order to load the Maven changes. And now let's do the same with JUnit. Search for JUnit on Maven repository and copy this to clipboard. Now we can paste this to our POM XML file and load again the Maven changes. Switching back to our test class, we can see now all the dependencies errors are fixed. To run the test cases, either we can use this run option or can select the run and run option from the menu. Let's give it a try. As we can see, we have this error could not start a new session. To fix this error, we have to change a bit the way we create the Firefox driver. So let's go to set a method and add some changes. We set a system property for WebDriver Jekyll driver. We specify the location where the Jekyll driver file is installed. If you don't know how to install the Jekyll driver, please check my Selenium IDE playlist where I explain how to install this using npm. Then on the next line, we create a Firefox options object and we set the binary for Firefox browser. And the last change, we pass these options to our Firefox driver instance. And now let's give it another run. As we can see, the browser is starting now. Let's see why the test cases are still marked as failed. It seems we still have an error, which is related to how we close the driver. So by default, when exporting the test cases using Selenium IDE, we get this line with driver close, which is not really needed because in teardown 
method we already call driver quit and sometimes calling driver close and driver quit cause this type of errors. Let's give it another run. Test cases seems to work now. As you can see, both of our test cases are marked as passed. And that's about it. We exported Selenium ID test cases to Java, created the Maven project, and run them using IntelliJ IDEA. Thank you for your time and see you at the next one. Bye.